Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and let's unbox the Thermal Take Suppressor F1. For that mini computer that has been deciding that uh, staying on is a challenge for it and decides to turn off on me randomly, I decided to actually also upgrade the case as well at this time. And so I let my wife actually help me choose a few cases because she's going to be looking at it too. And uh, what better way to include her in the decision making. So here's what the box looks like. And I decided to go with actually this thermal take case because I kind of wanted to see um, a little bit about, I wanted something smallish, but yet, uh, be able to see what is kind of new out there since my last case. And it still fits, um, a power supply that is a decent size too. So I didn't have to go with a, I didn't have to go with a, you know, small power supply. I, I just went with a regular ATX one. And so hopefully I can do this without dropping anything. That's the key here. So let's see. Set on the desk. That's it. Nothing in the box. All done. So we got that here, but it comes actually packed in pretty good styrofoam. This is slightly bigger than the case I previously had that I built like four years ago, but um, that was with the power supply that came with it. And I think that's part of the problem. So. Yeah, I wanted to avoid that this time. And it came with two pieces of styrofoam. Actually, super light case. Um, I have to say that this is a really light case overall. So you should see it comes in a plastic bag. And if I can actually get this off. So here's the front. And the reason why I got the suppressor was because it's brushed here. They do have a mesh that's probably better with airflow, better cooling. But cooling wasn't the most important thing I wanted it was more design more looks because well also my wife helped me choose that so um, it does have those side vents here and I believe that this has a 200 millimeter fan and side vents here diodes on the side which I think is a nice touch to kind of hide it a little bit also all these panels so the side panel the top panel the other side panel and the bottom are all interchangeable and you can see on the back here that it does have room for two more fans the power supply on the bottom also pci express there so it's a little bit larger than what i had before but um overall it looks pretty nice um you know if you got to see here the io which is usb 3 type a's up there and so i'm actually kind of see i don't really need the graphics card but it looks like it's got um, because I'm using that 2200G. It does look like I'm in here on the side right here where the graphics card would go. It does have a mesh. Um, I don't see another mesh in here, but let's see if we can take off one of these panels to see the inside of it. But I would like to have seen two sides of mesh on either side, so we should see thumb screws are actually they seem like a little plastic i don't know if i really like that too much but here it's just a you know plastic clear piece with a you know it's not tempered glass or anything like fancy like that yeah so if you can kind of see in there you have a 200 millimeter fan um and then you have your instructions your cables and everything else you can route through here you got drive cages on the side so drive cages over here and yeah it almost seems like there's like there's a mesh over here as you can see but there's not a mesh on the other side I don't know why they would have done that it almost feels like they should have put a piece of mesh in there um, maybe I'll contact uh, thermal take to see if there was supposed to be a mesh in there but, I mean, if there wasn't, I'd like to get one either way. So maybe Thermaltake does sell it. But there is mesh on the bottom for the power supply, which is great. So you can clear that all out. And it's got little standoffs here. And you got a nice little intake for the front panel here. So I'll be sure to put a video together of me building it. And we'll go from there. But let me know what you guys want. If you have any questions about this case, and I can take a look at it here. Uh, while I'm building it, I got to still decide how I'm going to actually record that because um, I don't really have all the space. My, I kind of filled my desk really fast that I just built. So 
Um, we'll see how I do that yet. Maybe I build it on the pool table that came with the house. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are or if you've had any uh, tips on building in this case. I'm sure others out there have. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe.